Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear. We're here today to talk about SCG's top three espresso machines of 2018. So this year we've got a fresh coat of paint on an old classic, a workhorse that we have loved for years and years, and a brand new entry into the super automatic market, new for 2018. So let's dive into it. So first up, we have the Silvia from Ranchilio. So this is a classic home espresso machine. Um, if you've been to a lot of coffee shops, you've probably seen a Ranchilio machine behind the counter. One of the things that uh, the Silvia benefits from is that history of commercial design. It's a thing that kind of uh, runs across all of Ranchilio's home machines, whether they're uh, the grinders or espresso machines, is that commitment to a commercially inspired design that you don't get from a lot of other home espresso machines at this price point. Um, so what that means is you're going to get things like the, the commercial inspired brew group that's in here. Um, the group head is really good at evenly uh, saturating and pressurizing grounds in the puck in the portafilter. So that means you're going to get that really evenly extracted high quality espresso shot. Uh, it's going to include things like the stainless steel construction of the machine. Uh, so this machine has really, really high quality build uh, with stainless steel casing. Uh, it's got a 12 ounce brass boiler in it and a three-way solenoid valve. And all this fits into this really nice package that's going to fit easily on your countertop. Uh, so these are all features that are kind of hallmarks of more expensive high-end espresso machines. You don't see them that often at this kind of entry-level price point of something like the Silvia. So we really love that it has those high-end features in such an affordable package. It does sacrifice some of the creature comforts of some other machines in its price point and even more expensive machines. Uh, so there's not a lot of programmability in it. It um, doesn't necessarily have the pre-infusion features of more expensive machines, but it's gonna give you an incredibly solid shot of, an es of espresso, and it's gonna be a great machine to learn to dial your shots in on, and it's gonna last you for a long time too. Um, new to the machine this year is this black powder coating on it. Uh, the machine's been available in stainless steel for a long time. But uh, the black powder coat kind of lends a really a second option. If the stainless steel doesn't fit well with your kitchen, you can get the Sylvia in black and it'll look great, we think, on a wide range of countertops. So we love this machine and we're excited to include it on the list. And next up, we have the Apartamento from Rocket. So if you're a uh, budding home barista or one that's very experienced, you've probably seen the Rocket Apartamento before. Uh, it's one of Rocket's most uh, popular machines. It's one of the most popular machines that we sell, and it really features a lot of hallmarks of classic Italian espresso machine design. So first up, you're going to notice the striking appearance of this machine. It's got these awesome knobs. It's got the exposed E61 group head. It's got the cutouts on the side, um, the really shiny casing. It's just a really visually striking machine. So we love it for that reason. But the other awesome thing about this machine is that it's gonna give you a lot of really high-end features, again, at a very solid price point for, uh, for what it's offering. So it's gonna have things like the uh, 1.8 liter heat exchange boiler on the inside. That uh, heat exchange boiler is great for allowing you to pull shots and steam milk at the same time. That's something that a lot of machines have a very hard time doing because it takes a lot of uh, pressure and a lot of heat to do that. But with this heat exchange boiler in here, you'll be able to do that. So you can do things like set your shot up to pull and start steaming your milk while you're brewing your shot. Um, that cuts down on brew time and, uh, and it just feel, feels really nice to use. Uh, it also has all of these really cool mechanical controls. So um, from the steam and hot water dispenser knobs to the shot lever, you're gonna get really tactile control and it really gives you an understanding of every part of the brewing process, which is really, really awesome. Um, it also features things like a uh, solenoid valve. Uh, it has this E61 group head, head, which uh, a lot of machines use this group head. It's extremely popular. It's heated, so it makes for really even temps when you're pulling shots. Um, you don't lose any water temperature as you begin to put the, sh the water through the group head. Um, so that's really awesome. All this stuff is stuff that you would expect to frankly pay a lot more for than you do with the Apartamento. Um, it does not have some of the programmability of even more expensive machines, but kind of like the Sylvia, we just think this is such a great model at the price point that it's available for. So it's gonna be way more palatable than if you were to look at some other machines that, that have a lot of these features. Um, so we've loved this machine for a really long time. We know that a lot of people love this machine and we're really excited to include it on the list this year. 
And last but not least is the brand new Excelsis from Seiko. So um, you may have seen an Excelsis model from Seiko in the past. Uh, they have had one for a long time. But this year's uh, Excelsis totally, is totally redesigned from the ground up. So the old Excelsis was a good machine, but this one is pretty unrecognizable from that one in, in everything except for the name. Uh, first of all, you'll notice it's just a totally different design visually. Super automatics tend to have an issue of kind of being coffee boxes, so um, they're not really about striking design. But with this machine, you get this really awesome brushed aluminum front. Um, the touchscreen's so vibrant, and it just it fits into a, a narrower footprint than some super autos, and it really does look striking on the countertop. Um, and then some of those design features in terms of ergonomics that are really, really nice is it has things like a front access water tank. Um, the water tank is lit too, so you can see what, it, what the water level is even early in the morning before you flip the kitchen lights on. And then you can get pull it out from the front instead of the top, like a lot of machines. That means that if you don't have a lot of clearance from your cabinets, you can still easily access the ground spin and the water tank. Um, but really, uh, the thing that sets it apart is what's going on inside of the machine and with the milk steaming wand. So this machine is going to be able to pull shots that are totally comparable in quality to other machines in this price range. So you're definitely not sacrificing on shot quality at all, but it is going to give you a wide range of more control features than you would get on a lot of other machines. So uh, it's pretty typical to be able to control things like temperature, volume, even strength of your coffee in other super automatics. But with the Excelsis, you're going to be able to control pretty much everything about the creation of your drink. So you can control all of those things, but you can control stuff like whether it pours milk or coffee first, um, the flavor of the coffee, the texturing of the milk, temperature of each thing, just a lot of control options that you just don't get on super automatics in this price range and even above. Um, and then you're controlling this all through a really vibrant, easy to use touchscreen interface. The touchscreen um, is kind of reminiscent of a smartphone app. So it's really intuitive, really simple to use, and you can easily save drink recipes to profiles. So everyone can kind of get their perfect latte or cappuccino. Um, the other thing about this machine that is just far and away better than a lot of other super automatics is the milk quality. So uh, you might be aware, but Steaming milk is a really kind of artful process. Um, using a traditional steam wand to get the perfect microfoam consistency to do things like make latte art and for just the, the taste and texture is really, really tough. And it's very hard to recreate with a super automatic and with a uh, an automatic system. So the Excelsis' Hygesteam system is pretty much as close to a professional barista as we've seen. Um, it's certainly not going to win out over someone who is really experienced with the steam wand, but it's going to give you better quality milk than what we see from most other super automatics to the extent that if you were to steam your milk separately in a pitcher, a frothing pitcher, we've actually had success pouring latte art with the milk that comes out of this machine. Um, it also is a really easy to clean system too. The Hygestine system purges itself after every drink and then there's a really simple way to purge it from the menus. It can purge right into its holder so that goes right into the drip tray. Uh, it's, so it makes it really easy to maintain. Uh, and then this machine also features things like Seiko's AquaClean filtration system. That's a very uh, tried and true method of maintaining and cleaning the machine. Um, and then again, it has all of those, the, the other features you would expect like great shock quality. Um, so we're really, really happy with this machine. It definitely blows the old Excelsis out of the water and we are very excited to be able to include it on this list this year. So that's gonna do it for our top three espresso machines of 2018. If you have any questions, definitely drop them in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and keep an eye out for more of our best of 2018s.